Baptist Hospital has earned its role among the world's top medical facilities. Through its dedication to the preservation of life, the hospital is virtually a city unto itself with a vast army of support personnel. And when I walked in the hallways, I just could not believe that level of activity. They were bustling with patients and family members and physicians and residents and nurses. Baptist had continued to grow through the decades, and so had Memphis. By the 70s, Shelby County's demographic center has shifted, and hospital leaders realize they will have to change with the changing times. All the planning that was done really showed population growth out to the east of Memphis, and the decision was made to make a satellite hospital there. Baptist East opened in 1979 on what was then the far edge of the city, just as the original hospital had been on the outskirts of town in 1912. Baptist East was the first of what would be an expansion to take Baptist closer to home for more of the patients it serves. Building a hospital uh, in the eastern part of the city was a, was a brilliant idea and they picked a perfect spot for it. In 1980, Joseph Powell succeeds Frank Groner as administrator, and Baptist begins putting together a multi-hospital system throughout the Mid-South. Across East Arkansas, North Mississippi, and West Tennessee, patients who once had to drive to Memphis could now get quality medical care closer to home. Baptist even extends its reach beyond the walls of its hospitals with the establishment of the Baptist Memorial Healthcare Foundation in 1983. The impact is enormous, not just in dollars or bricks and mortar, but in the different outreach programs that have reached men, women, children, and helped change lives. Meanwhile, the list of medical firsts and milestones in the system's hospitals continues to grow, including the first heart transplant in Memphis, performed by a team of doctors from Baptist and UT. Baptist DeSoto opens in 1988 to care for patients in Mississippi's fastest growing county. And Baptist hatches PD Parrot, a colorful mascot to teach children about health and safety issues. In 1994, with the retirement of Joseph Powell, Stephen Reynolds takes the reins as only the fourth president in the healthcare system's illustrious history. Times were changing, and many challenges lay ahead for the healthcare industry. So we developed a strategy for the future. We called it Metro 2000. And uh, we developed plans to uh, expand Baptist Memphis, to develop the women's hospital, to develop a hospital in Collierville, to expand our services at Baptist Germantown. Baptist also merged with St. Joseph Hospital and absorbed most of its 1,100 employees.